Slovan hosts Metallurg Magnitogorsk, and the home team strikes first as Libar Gudicek connects with Milan Bartovic on this play, 1-0 Slovan. There goes Ari Ahren's shutout streak. Nobody could score on him in three consecutive games. Still in the first, this time it's Bartovic who feeds Gudicek and he scores, 2-0 Slovan. Slovan goes 2-4-2 two two on the power play as Bartovic and Gudicek show some chemistry. 29 seconds left to play in the second, Magnitka on the power play and Malkin scores, of course he does. Magnitka's power play is deadly. Malkin scores his 23rd of the season. He has points in 8 consecutive games. 12 seconds later, the same line is on the ice and it's Sergei Mazakin with the gold. We're tied to twos just like that. This MMK line, as they call them now, Mazakin, Malkin, Kulinin, should find a new league to play. KHL is clearly a joke to them. You don't read the news, do you? Third period, Slovan on the power play and Libar Gudicek scores again, this time on the rebound, 3-2 Slovan. Gudicek scores his second of the night and thus picks up his third point of the night. That's the most productive game he's had all season. Magnika not going down easily though, Malkin feeds Mazakin on the far side and he scores, tie game again, 3-3. Mazakin scores his third of the season. All three Magnitka's goals were scored by the same line, the MMK line. So we go to the shootout. Mario Bliznak starts for Slovan and he scores. Mizakin, the last shooter for Magnika, he has to score and he does. Sudden death. Bliznak out for Slovan again and he goes cheddar. Mizakin has the game on the line again and this time Jaroslav Janus robs him. Slovan did it. They beat mighty Magnitogorsk after all that they've done lately. 4-3 shootout final for Slovan.